Is it like we gotta get this thing to pop? Because if not, like you feel me? I don't, is it you get what I'm trying? To I say? mean, I, I'm gonna just say I think you know OMG and never didn't pop. Like it never <laughs> wasn't popping. Like we've been going viral. Talk to you, bro. You know, but for real, we go viral on Twitter, Instagram, all that, like, every other day. Like, we really were a part of, like, something special in a lot of people's lives. Mm-hmm. And so I think that, like, they naturally associate us with that. So when we were, like, oh, we finna drop Loverboy, we back together. Like, everybody was like, oh, we welcome this. We want to know what this, code, bro. No, what no. this going right. to be. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I think, too, like, I don't think it's, I was going to say, I don't think it's pressure yeah, on, on popping it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't no, think like, we, we put pressure on ourselves mm-hmm. about any of those type of things. Because I feel like we, we know that we have something special mm-hmm. together. Yeah. Like, we know if we get in the studio... It's gonna go. You yeah, know, we get on that stage. It's gonna go crazy. Like right. it's just like oh, it's given. It's not really like oh yeah. Let's, let's make sure we like, go viral today. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is, your boy, Mr. J Hill. Uh, J Hill Podcast. We here, special edition. Uh, yo, you going to see new setups, like, periodically, right? Because that's what we do. When, it, when we have special people, we give them special sets. That's what we do, all right? Period. Special guests in the building. My girls, OMG girls, is here. Yes. So uh, I just want to start off by saying... Y'all don't got no smoke when we do y'all? No. All right. Mm. You know what? That I I nah. really I was excited when we was coming here because I wanted to talk about that. Because I feel like a lot of people was mad at you, mm. but like our we were you weren't our demographic. So I don't think that it's like kind of hard to believe that right. you didn't really know because it's like you're a man first mm. and then like you're in your thirties and I just feel like that wasn't really our fan base at the time. But not even yeah. that. Like, I just feel like, first of all, we don't really got to, we don't owe them nothing. That's and I say that to say, because it's funny, because me and Zanique talked about this, mm-hmm. like how like they going to use what whatever. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. the people that know, they know that I interviewed you first. So clearly I knew right. who yeah. the RMG girls were. But even in the, the, the conversation, it was like, I didn't know at a time. Mm-hmm. Right. But people are stupid. So like, I don't got no time <laughs> to explain nothing. Like, yeah. it, like I, it's okay. Even if I did my research, I can still say I didn't know yeah. right. at mm-hmm. one point. And yeah. then too, I That's feel right. like it was good. Point, yeah. It was good though. It was yeah. good that you said that. So <laughs> <All right. laughs> let's let's get the introduction. We got Zonique in the building. Hey guys. Mm-hmm. We got Beja. What's up? And we got Bree. Am I saying it right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Bree. Yeah. So nice to meet you guys. I'm just curious. Mm-hmm. How, when did you come along with the ONG? Was you a, a part of the original group? No, I came when they were looking for a new member, when it was just two of them. Mm-hmm. And they were looking for another um, member to add. And I joined when I was like 15. Or 16, mm. yeah. Give me years. And I joined, that was like 2011, 2010. Yeah, 2011. 10, yeah, at the end of 2010, going into 11. Mm-hmm. I had joined the group, and um, I moved up here and That's joined. Right. The, so we're talking ladies. about primetime OMG girls, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Um, Gucci this, Gucci that. There you mm-hmm. go. Right? Yes, okay. <laughs> right. That's primetime. Yeah. Give me like a time, paint a timeline in my mind of when you came. If you could say, all right. It was right after that. It was during the midst of that. What? It was before that. that it was, was so you was a part of the whole. Yeah. Oh, that's when another we took clip. Off, yeah. On Gucci this. Oh, so that's another. Yeah, that's that was another like clip. the first song so like, that we put out right. with her on it. Yeah. So um, like think like pretty girl bad. Mm-hmm. Maybe. That was that. Yep. Yeah. Couple yep. months after. Okay. Three. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it wasn't like exactly. a, a. Um. Who was it? Aunt Viv. And, no, and it, was, no it, wasn't it wasn't like that. that. And then, see, no. too, you got to understand that, like, our fans, they also know, like, who who was a part when as well. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Regine, my sister, Lourdes, like, they knew, you know, that they were in the group. And then they also knew that they weren't in the group and we was having this big contest mm-hmm. looking for another girl. So um, I think that they are pretty, like, up to date on, you know, like, how What's going happy. on? Yeah. How why happy. didn't, um, why, why not Regine and your sister no more, like? 
I would say it was like a big age group yeah. at a time. I mean, a big age difference okay. at a time. Like me and Beja always were same age, basically. Mm-hmm. And Lourdes and Nate are like around the same age. So when it came to like dance moves, they couldn't you, keep up. Yeah, and no, 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 no. no, no. They're like <laughs> they just too young. See, it's like, start, like you trying we, to start it. Yeah, we like <laughs> fourteen, like, fifteen, talking about right. like boys and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And you know, my sister and Regine were like. 11 and 12, oh, okay. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like kind of, you know, you just it gets getting, tricky. Yeah, mm-hmm. it gets a little different, especially mm-hmm. with the dance moves. It gets different. Okay. Oh, like with twerking and stuff like that. Well, yeah, we weren't twerking. Like, we weren't twerking yet. You know, it's, certain little stuff. But it's, it's a little sexy. But mm-hmm. it's crazy because like even that, like my daughter is 14 now. Right. Mm-hmm. And I mean, dancing dolls, all of that damn yeah. choreography yeah. is mm-hmm. giving sexy and yeah. Yeah. twerking. So it's like, sure. do was that a thing even when y'all were dancing? Because I know the hair was a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Was the dance moves a thing? Um, yeah. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Big That's part of our for... performance, for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. But was they like criticizing y'all for that? It's like no. they were criticizing the hair? Um, no, no, I, I feel think like. That... Oh, go ahead. oh, yeah. I was about to say, no, I feel like they gravitated to it. If anything, they were remaking videos of them doing the choreography themselves mm-hmm. and like saying how they love Sean Bankhead for us and how he do all those things, mm-hmm. great things for us. And mm-hmm. also with the age, like taking Lourdes and Nate out, it made us. We were able okay. to do more things that were our age, okay. you know, like age appropriate mm-hmm. for teenagers, which they mm-hmm. hadn't. They so I gotta, yet. I gotta yeah. ask y'all then. Um, I won't say no names because I'm not trying to be messy. Okay. But so we took. Let's look at. Let's paint a picture. The <laughs> okay. rap game, right? I feel like a lot of those kids wasn't like real successful in the rap game after the rap game because they were trying to be like adults. They were showing you that they wasn't kids, but we always, we was introduced to them as kids. Mm-hmm. Except for like one, maybe Lotto, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. But I feel like- Claude J too. Yeah, so do you mm-hmm. think how people int- are introduced to you matter when it comes to the career? Um, I would, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of don't because I feel like sometimes you really can like shake that stigma. I just think with like child stars and especially with us, we were like teen, child stars, teenage stars. I think that, you know, you kind of have to do something a little dramatic. Like, if we look at, like, the Miley Cyruses and the Demi Lovatos, like, just their music and, like, their whole um, aesthetic kind of really took a dramatic turn when it was like, okay, you know what? I'm older. I'm doing this now. Mm. And I kind of think, like, that's what it takes for people to break you out that mold. But I do feel like, you know, with OMG, we were a part of a lot of people's, like, nostalgic years, their childhood, their teenage girlhood or teenage boyhood. So I think that, you know, it's natural for people to just be like, man, like that was just such a time in my life. I mm. love those girls, you know? But could we even get that time back though? Because like, think about it, right? Like <laughs> I was talking to Mario and I mean, we was talking about the verses mm-hmm. and a lot of the, a lot of the verses, a lot of the artists were, were nostalgic years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But sometimes mm-hmm. some things we just don't want to hear as adults though. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, how I do you? So. What? But, I mean, go ahead. I mean, if it's nostalgic. Yeah, you I mean, always I don't know, because there's, though, like, cause... millennial tours and all that going mm-hmm. on, so I feel like there's always going to be that crowd that yeah. will always, like, love you. Like, mm-hmm. if I grew up on this, like... But you know, having fun, though. No messy stuff. Just having fun. <laughs> Do I want to hear B2K versus just a friend? Like, we talk, like it's two different... Nost- you got classic you know and you got nostalgic. But like, it's, it's the same, it's the <laughs> same, like, it's the same time period, mm-hmm. low-key. Because the way mm-hmm. that I feel is, like... When Just a Friend came out, like, I was a child, but there was somebody at that age who was a teenager, and she mm. like, man, you know, like, I love B2K, but I love this Mario song, and mm. I just feel like it's room for both to exist. Yeah. Like, I like I think, that. You know, people really, and especially right now, just in the world with everything that's going on, it's always, you know, I feel like we are consuming a lot of negative stuff, you know, mm. on a daily basis, so I think people kind of like to escape and go back to a time where they ain't have to worry about paying bills mm, or, that's true. you know what I'm saying? That's like just facts. real life world problems. And I think that's why it's such a demand for like a millennium tour or mm-hmm. us coming back together or, you know what I'm saying? Like just stuff like that. I yeah. feel like this isn't new though. Like this, this need for y'all to come back. Like yeah. y'all been hearing this for years. Yeah. And mm-hmm. Even me not knowing who the OMG girls were. <laughs> I knew that though. Like yeah. I did yeah. the interview, like, Every time I did, I did an interview with you. I did an interview with you. And, and one thing that was consistent, like, I wish they came back. I wish they came back. And, and yeah. I talked to both of y'all about coming back. And it, it was like, still was up in the air. Mm-hmm. What made y'all finally say, all right, let's do it? Well, it started it's with our lawsuit. Yeah, that, that's kind of where it started, mm-hmm. I think. We were uh, together a lot, like, at the top of this year. And, okay. 
think just us being around each other and just really see how like these folks was playing with us. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think that we was just like, let's just come back and do it. Like, let's just, you know, show them that, you know, or just show everybody still a demand there. And on top of that, I think we never ever said that we gonna weren't going to come back together. Right. I just mm -hmm. think we wanted to experience stuff. Mm -hmm. So us coming back together, we just wanted to, it to be on our own time and mm -hmm. we wanted it to feel natural mm -hmm. as yeah. well. You know what I mean? Not forced. Yeah. yeah. But we were never against it. So it was y'all right. was never, yeah. Y'all yeah. mm -hmm. never really something. said no. Like, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. no. Say we had I feel like we all kind of knew that it was going to happen at some point. Yeah. Yeah. We just like, didn't know when. Didn't know when. Y'all yeah. yeah. was like, giving the political answers like, eh, we don't know. Like, whenever yeah. is the right time. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, and that's how it happened for real, for real. Yeah. Like, not to even. So is the, is like, the, is the uh, lawsuit over? Um, Come on, man! Don't get y'all did radio already, bro. No, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, we bro. we kind of we we be a little picky with it because we don't really know kind of mm. what we can and can't talk about. Right. But we can take it out. We, She'll tell you. Will say, <laughs> well, hey, right? yeah, yeah. Did it I'm a man of my word, right? I'm a man of my word. Because I watched. What we will say is, though, honestly, oh, is that you know we always gonna stand up and we gonna fight for our creativity and our right. And at the end of the day, and it's like I'm I'm glad that we here and we could kind of touch on this because. I think a lot of people in the comments and stuff like that didn't really understand, you know what I mean, why we felt this way. It's like, this corporation has a history of doing this to young black creatives. It's not just us. This corporation it's, meaning um, the... MG. MGA. Mm -hmm. They that, have a... Wait, we got break it down even more. Yeah. Who does the Bratz? The they do the Bratz dolls. Mm -hmm. Okay, because yeah. even me, and the LOL. I'm, just, I'm yeah. trying to learn. Yeah. Yeah. So they do the Bratz dolls. They do the LOL OMG dolls, mm -hmm. which is what we were saying. They were infringing upon our trademark and our image and our likeness. But, you know, it's like this company, this is what they do to black creatives. And then they go to white creatives and they do partnership deals and they make sure they go about it the right way way there mm. but when it comes to us it's like we have to fight you know what i'm saying for our for really just our creative right and ideas that we came up with our moms came up with mm -hmm. and you know i think that they probably felt we didn't have the resources or we didn't have the know-how or any type of backing to really well, y'all yeah, have yeah. i don't think yeah. that they really did it. did the research no. <laughs> and, Stop it. And, you know it, it just it was a crazy experience you mm -hmm. know that i think that mm -hmm. was the first time that we had ever been up against anything like that ever in mm -hmm. our lives so you know? if we can and again we can um hold on to this or whatever we got to do like just because i'm curious cause i don't know yeah okay. um if we can go into it because I, I have no clue how mm -hmm. did you even like because if i see the breasts maybe because again maybe it wasn't my my my, age, my demographic mm -hmm. but if i was to see the breasts though i knew the breasts though i would never think like i don't know omg girls how was that something clear during that time, like, yo, this is clear yeah, plagiarism. Like, clear. this is us. Yeah. yeah we're talking about the, the LOL. LOL, the OMG. Yeah. The OMG. This is just the same company that yeah. makes yeah, the same Yeah, they make both. Companies. Okay, yeah. okay. Right. Yeah. So when, when that <laughs> came out, see, yeah, I'm really learning. Like, I don't no, know. Yeah, no, so no, when yeah. it really came out, right? Mm -hmm. When it came out, was that, like, clear? Like, bro, that's us, bro. Like, what are y'all doing? Mm -hmm. For us. Yeah. Most definitely. And it was in different ways, how they put it together, how they, like, packaged it together, mm -hmm. how they even had them like go on tours and do music videos and all those type of things on YouTube too. So they were like artists and everything. Yeah. So it was the pink, purple, and blue, the colored hair, even how they positioned the dolls, like how we were standing in our pink, purple, and blue, like for posing for pictures on red carpet. Mm -hmm. It was just crazy. And, and even then, for little kids to be like, yeah. they would think that, you know, that's was what's the thing, it was right? It's the confusion, right? Yeah, and that was the part. Confused. Yeah. They didn't know. Yo, how was that for y'all, though, going through that? Like, because this is a long time. We couldn't talk about it. We we couldn't talk about yeah. it. Yeah. And y'all know I like to talk about how y'all feel. Y'all know. Y'all know. <laughs> <'all> know. <laughs> yeah, know me. Right. We'll get our Oprah for But honestly, though, like, how was Because, you know, we hear that we, people in the comments can, they got everything they say, they can judge and all that, right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, y'all still people. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And that got to weigh, like, that got to be heavy on y'all, especially. Y'all separated. Y'all don't know if y'all coming back together or not. Y'all y'all probably want to. I don't know. Who knows yeah. what's going through your mind, right? Yeah. yeah. During that moment, um, first of all, is is it over the court case? Is it over? Mm, we not. Like, yeah, sure. we can't yeah, but really. that's it. We don't, but okay, because yeah. I'm not talking about the case, but I'm just, because my question is, uh -huh. when it was at its peak, whatever uh -huh. the court case, and y'all got to go back and forth, y'all got to get lawyers and everything, how was that making y'all feel as, like, as individuals, as artists? You know what I'm saying? Like, was it, did it feel defeating at one point? Um, mm. it... I, I would say it didn't really feel as defeated until the end. Like, yeah. I feel like everyone, we all were, you know, extremely, like, proud of what we were fighting for. Yeah. We were proud of, you know, the meetings, everything we were having about what was going on, how it was our going. Lawyers yeah. Our lawyers, like, mm -hmm. how everything was going. 
I felt like we all were, you know, we felt like it was going good. good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so it took to the end for us to feel like, you know, damn, like defeated yeah. and like, you know, all the hard mm-hmm. work that we we put in, our team put in, everyone, that's when it was just like, damn, like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's stung, it, it it stung a little, mm-hmm. and then what I also will say too is it kind of like made me want to go a little bit harder. Too. Yeah, I can see that. Because yeah. the way that I felt, I just feel like we didn't, we weren't really dealt a fair a fair shake in my eyes. I felt, but also too, I just think that like you know. These them ideas that we came up with, you know what I'm saying? Those were our ideas. Those hair colors, we came up with those. And, and y'all got a feel, lot of uh no, I'm sorry, cuz no, 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 y'all yeah. got a lot of backlash for stuff like that. We talked about it in yeah, the beginning, right? right? Yeah. Like when y'all changing and hairs and people thing. talking. But they're yeah. promoting these dolls and to our community, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To people who look like us. And that's why, like, even too in the comments, it was irritating me just seeing people who look like us being like, oh, those dolls don't look like them. They're tripping. Da, 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 da. It's like if y'all really could have sat in there and seen how these people were attacking our characters, mm-hmm. how they were attacking our families, our accomplishments, mm-hmm. what we have done, haven't done. It was sick. And it's like, I mean, to me, it was sick. I it just was. felt like oh, it, yeah, was, no, it was really it was sick. Wrong. And I think that, like, you know, that's all the more reason that we always going to fight for what we believe is rightfully ours. Because, like, that was something that I feel like we had to... Fight back on a shout out to Auntie Tamika too, yes, obviously to because um, it came from her. Some one of her homegirls sent it to her. She saw it immediately, sent it out to everybody involved, us, our moms, and from there it was like, oh, she was like, you know, mm. we gotta, we we gotta fight this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I think that um, you know, again, no matter how whatever way it came out, like we we gonna always do that. It don't matter who it is, big, small, short, tall. We gonna always like fight for what we believe is rightfully ours we believed in that yeah Period. especially i want to make sure to know like they are called the lol but they're, they're called the lol omg doll so mm-hmm. even the name being omg how it is and it's outrageous millennial girls and we were known as officially misguided but like even how they pitch it to be like big sisters and all that type of thing for girls or whatever like that like that's our whole pitch that we've done since we were out as a group like the fans always looked at us if not big sisters like best friends that they can come to and like relate to and feel like they can you know hear some music that they you know they can vibe with and all those type of things so for them to even be called omg like that was right there like crazy in itself Mm -hmm. yo it's crazy because like not even to get too redundant in this but i keep saying this but we talked about this and um just that how people can look at you like y'all stars, y'all, y'all, y'all well renowned stars. Everybody know y'all, right? Mm-hmm. I was the only one, clearly. But <laughs> well, thank you. Every, yeah. Everybody thank know you. who the OMG girls are, right? And just even even y'all like individually. And I hear you say like we wasn't dealt, we wasn't really dealt a fair shape. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy how we're so similar, but the people separate us, right? Mm-hmm. And that's why I say like not to get redundant because we talked about this before, but like. Me coming from the projects, I wasn't really dealt the fair shake. You go outside, you got McDonald's on every corner. I didn't really understand. I really didn't understand healthy eating until I started moving to like Beltsville, right? Because you got a you got a a Chinese food spot, you got a a, 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 a fast food on every. I wasn't really dealt. I was really dealt the fair shake, right? Even when we talk about the crack epidemic, right? Like Mm -hmm. they dropped these off in our neighborhoods. Like we didn't go searching for that, right? Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because we got to fight that. We have presidents like, I mean, he wasn't the president at the time. Bill Clinton. I mean, wow, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> the president now. Yeah. Uh, Joe, Biden. Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. Mm-hmm. He, he forced on laws on us and like sending people to jail for things that they ain't even had. Like that wasn't even, we wasn't dealt a fair shake. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm sure. saying? I say all that to say, seeing that and in, 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 in having your own experience with that, right? For somebody who might not be as fortunate or blessed to be in your position, but still not be dealt a fair shake. What would the advice be to them? Like, what's the motivation? What would you give them? What was y'all, what did y'all learn from the situation that y'all went through? Um, Keep just, going. Yeah. yeah. That's cliche. No, I don't like that. Well, no, you no, know, that's true, though. When you, exactly, know, when you know I'm not playing. Like, no, right. no, when you're going through it, though, that's a real you thing to say because, because it'll make you feel like... They, they, they'll yeah. eat it up. It'll make you feel like... like, that, like that sometimes courtroom? it can, like, shake you up or make Seriously, you feel like questions yeah. type thing. So to hear that keep going thing, like, you'll think you don't need to hear but when you hearing people say things and tearing you down or acting like you ain't nothing, like, mm. to hear the those, those simple words, they may be something cliche or something you always hear. And they come in a certain person, like, to hear from, I need to say, keep going. 
that strong. And like, then they adamant, coming like, against stuff that we did when we was like children, 14, 15 mm-hmm. years old. Like the type of the stuff that we was doing at 14 and 15 year, years old, pe- regular, like mm-hmm. anybody else is not doing it. I don't want to say regular people, but just now, the average that, person yeah. on a daily is not doing no shit like that. Right. And so I just feel like, you know, to me, it's like I, I hate to like bring this up, but I just feel like honestly, like I'm sorry, it was just racist to me. Like I just feel like it's like y'all going to rip us off. Cause we the little small black artists that y'all don't know, but then y'all will go do all these doll deals with all of these other white creators who are millionaires and billionaires and all of this stuff. You know what I mean? And then look at us crazy when we like, uh, uh-uh. uh, you know, like it's mm-hmm. not, I just, I don't feel that that's fair. And I just feel like, you know, anybody who in a situation where somebody is taking something from you that you created out of your mind, you should always fight for that. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Like that's what these big corporations do. They try to step on people who they feel like, Oh, you ain't, got no you ain't got no stain you ain't got no resources you can never come fight against us they could did not expect us to really be able to get in the courtroom with them and i feel like for real for real that's the the, the biggest victory is the fact that we was even able to yeah. do it because it's other creators yeah. who that happened to who they yeah. couldn't do that. yeah you know so, yeah. when you say keep going right? I was about to say, no, 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 no. that's our right. only right. choice right. Right. Yeah. Like, right. Right. i said yeah. the no. main answer already what, right. what, gonna do? Yeah, what right. you gonna yeah, ask me what when you, you ask me? When you say keep going, right? Yeah. What that come with though? Like, how does that even look? So what I'm saying is keep going. Like you have to keep fighting for whatever it is that you believe, in, especially with us. We don't really even have no other choice. We lost. All we can either do is sit down and be like, oh, okay, or we can keep continue yeah. to fight for what we believe. So I mm. feel like if you have something that you're passionate in, passionate about, mm-hmm. you have to keep fighting for that. No Thank matter you. how many mm-hmm. no's people tell you, no matter how many times you get stopped, like it's only going to go if you keep, mm. making, keep going Yo. and make it go. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now... You got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. Wow. Speaking of keep going though, right? Mm-hmm. And we talk, we hear, we say cliche, mm-hmm. but I always say it's cliche for a reason. It's cliche because it's true. Mm-hmm. It's clearly it cliche, cliche. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when we talk about keep going, we we back at it. We got back together. Mm-hmm. OMG girls, this is a real thing now. Like we, yeah. we, we, yeah. we, we, we together. Yeah. We here. Tell me some of the things that y'all are learning now, right? coming out of being teenagers coming into the game? Mm. Well, one... Like more business stuff. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say more business stuff. Mm. Definitely being vocal. I think that's a really big thing. We was kids when we started, so I think a lot of the times, like, our parents... You know, we were minors, so obviously our parents were, you know, just moving on our behalf, which wasn't like they did anything bad to us. But I think now as grown women, we able to have, like, adult conversations, business conversations, know what we're talking about. We have a real direction as to what we want to do, where we want to go. So I think... You know, we faring off well. We really lead mm-hmm. the parents out whenever we want to. That's, at yeah. this point, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yo, y'all, y'all have to be Yes. Yeah. Like, yo, these lights don't get no heat sister. Like, yeah, you see? Like, 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 no, I'm, Beyonce. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, bro, what's right, going on, bro? Because right. like, I saw you looking back. Like, you ain't Yeah, sweating. you saw what's going yeah, on. Yeah, like, make sure. Like, is it sweating? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, Let's right. just take another shot. We hot. Oh, we yeah, take another shot. Cheers. We hot. Okay. We're going to take another shot. shot. Come okay. on, Jay. Nah. nah. Don't say that. We, we waiting for you to pour yours because we're going to take uh, a shot. All right. All right. He's okay. talking about y'all bullshit. All right. Sorry. Waterfalls. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I do have something. 
Yo, we already did this, bro. We That's did this last. before. That's what I'm saying. Like, like y'all know, know me. Come, like, come on. I know man. you coming with some quiet. Right. No, 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 no. It ain't no. It's really, it's real shit. Like, we already talked about. Talking why about. you on mute? I'm just a little more quiet. <laughs> you <laughs> no, you're there. not. You're on mute. I'm more quiet. You know, I talk about your interview all the time. Stop. No cap. Stop. Hey, you sound like stop that. Yo, Kyrie. Stop. Hey, stop it. Dylan. I thought I talked yeah, about, I mean, like, love, you yeah. wanted to, like, yeah, when people say, what's, what's, what's interview Stop your favorite, that. I always be like, Zani's one of my I'm, favorites. I'm top three? What about oh. Beja? Like, uh -oh. I'm about to say, yeah, and she did come to the I really didn't say, I really no, didn't no, say nothing. No, 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 no. no. Neat kind of got no. deep. Your conversation right. was good. Yeah, no, but Neat got good. deep, though. I'm going to say why, I'm going to say why, I'm going to say why Zani got said Zani, because she was the first time I had a celebrity really break down why they don't want to talk about something, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And it made sense. Mm -hmm. Like, usually people are like, I don't want to talk about that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I get it because of the reason that she yeah. gave, though. You Because, like, mm -hmm. people do, they, what's the word? Like, they use your vulnerability against you a lot. They do. Mm -hmm. Right? But mm -hmm. even as something is that simple, she was able to articulate in a way like, yo, like, I, I would love to be vulnerable, right? I see you cool. Like, I see that right. you're a dope person and I trust you. I just met you, but I trust you. But like, she was able to articulate in a way that like it made sense. I'm like, damn, like, cause even if I did tell you and you got it, the world's still gonna use it against yeah. me. Yeah, mm -hmm. and like that was real though. Like, yeah, and, yeah, and, and we I had thought, a moment. We had a moment. Y'all yeah. did. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, my, my, my boy. <laughs> yeah. Yo, so before I get into the uh, other serious question, I want to ask y'all this though. All right. mm -hmm. Coming back to a group, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all had success. Bree, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I gotta let me ask you this. Y'all okay. to the side real quick. <laughs> oh, okay. Bree, yes. did you do a solo career? Yes, I do. I did, and I do. How yeah. was it? Period. It's good. I have some singles out. I have a video out, and I have more to come. Like, I definitely took it um, probably, like, I say more slower than the others, just mm -hmm. compared to the girls, because I know that's how they see it. But I do have singles out, and I do have more, like, in the vault that I just have that I'm ready to put out. Mm -hmm. um, more, like, and I was, even said I was going to get on YouTube and all those type of things to be with the fans. <laughs> And all those type of things. So yeah, I have some singles on um, Apple Music everywhere. How was the How was um, the success rate for you? Was it really good? Uh, yeah, it definitely was. Even when I released my first single, um, I don't know why Apple Music took it down, but it's fine. It's called Only in America, but I think too where I was taking a stand on everything. I chose to do that to like mean something, you know, because mm. um, it was talking about what was going on in the world at the time. That was after the um, people had got shot in that church or whatever. And when I had first released that, like it was trending on Twitter and all those type of things. And that was my first single. So that did amazing. And then along with the other two, they did great too. And still to this day is doing great. So I'm very grateful for the support that I do have and for those to come. So that's perfect. So Bree, Zani, Beja, y'all did the, y'all did the, in the, the single. Yeah. Right? I want to say I appreciate though that you gave me that because you know this is my nah, first time. Yeah, yeah, you know, nah, yeah. Like, cause, bro, yeah. come on. I'm still a, yeah. a human. I, I'm a decent person. You feel <laughs> oh, me? No, like, no, nah, I'm saying you're a dope, you a dope interviewer. Like, no, nah, I appreciate that. Yeah. No, nah, thank you. Mm -hmm. So all of y'all did the independent route versus like yeah. Yeah. doing y'all own thing. Mm -hmm. Coming back, mm -hmm. it got to be, I don't want to say tension, but it got to be kind of like Harder to do the group thing or no? Um, I, I mean, I don't. It was never hard when we did it. See, I think the common misconception that people have is like we was beefed out, we weren't cool, we fell out. That's why this group fell apart, and that wasn't our story. And also, what I want to say too is like, even if it was, it's like the type of friends that we are. Like the world would never know. Like That's it's hard. not. Yeah, yeah. It's not to me. I feel like it's not anybody's business. We're real friends. If like, it's smoke, really you can tell family. me though. I'll block it out. No, 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 no. That's your but, favorite line. Right, yeah, right, 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 so right. bad, but it really wasn't. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it really wasn't anything for me to even sit up here and be like, "Oh, it was it like it was that?" Like, I just think that we had been growing together for so long, and you get older, you want to do different stuff. You want to expand and explore and and do your own thing. And I think that's kind of like where we all were internally. And I think that it worked out because coming back together now. We all have different things that we know, different skills that we can mm. utilize back again in today's time that really work well for us. So I think that like we blessed to be here. We blessed but wait, to be able right to there here. though. But oh, go ahead. What you want to say? I'm saying <laughs> y'all all have like y'all all had y'all own careers. Yeah, and we, and we all still do. Right? Right? Yeah, not facts, but like, some things throughout. work for y'all that might not. So for example, like y'all might be in the studio, you like, yo, this really worked, but you might not think that worked because. You had another way, or you might had another way, but y'all all were successful in y'all individual careers, right? Yeah. I'm wondering, like, is that hard to navigate through? Because it's like, bro, like, yo, I'm telling you, like, this work, I did it and it worked. And you're like, no, I'm telling you, this work, I'm telling you. No. So, 
basically to explain it, like, because we were in a group first mm -hmm. and then did our solo things, I think that we are, are we work really well at, you know, doing both. It's mm. like, you know, when we're together, we gonna work like we together. It's mm. not like, oh, okay. me, 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 me. Okay. It's like, you know, yeah, we can do me, I me, me, but yeah, we yeah. It's, all, yeah, it's always gonna be put together. Like, mm -hmm. we know how to work well. So who take lead then? Well, it's not, it, that's the never been a dynamic of yeah, our group. It's no. never been like a lead, anything. I think we all, the reason we were a group is because we all have something that the other one lacks. Mm -hmm. So we fit together like a puzzle. And when we come back together and we in the studio as a group, it's not about like, Beja, Zanik, or Bree. It's really like, okay, what's the best thing, thing for OMG? Like, mm -hmm. I want to hear what you got to say. You want to mm -hmm. hear what I have to say. And mm -hmm. if I just really feel like I'm against it, that's one thing. But I think... We been working together since we was young, so mm -hmm. I think it's easy for us to kind of like iron out kinks. We know how we all are, you know what I'm saying? Right. We know what we like pretty much, what we don't like. So it it, it actually is easy. When we did um, our single Lover Boy, we was in the studio. The vibes, we was like so lit. We was having so much fun. We was turned like that was our first time being back in the studio. The three of us in like years. So yeah. I think like. When we go to the studio together, we get excited. Like, oh, we're mm -hmm. going to have a good time. Like, is that, that the one that y'all... I'm sorry. I keep... We keep... Like, it's okay. It's I, okay. It, we it, keep yeah, going sink, at the same time. We sink. We sink. <laughs> yeah. Is that the one that everybody was like, y'all need to finish or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. We see you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they was trying something. to play with you. Yeah. Okay. You know. yeah. Yeah. We want to explain it to them. It's, it's better for content. Let them yeah. Let them kill me. I'll take it. No. They're going to be happy, though, too, that you know. Because you're with them. He did his homework. Right. Yeah. Yo, so let me ask y'all this then. Right? So. Outside of individually or in the group, right? Mm -hmm. It is it hard because back in the day, right? Y'all parents had a lot of control, right? When it came to making the music and things like that, mm -hmm. but y'all was really successful. Mm -hmm. Coming on the back end, now all the pressure on y'all. Yeah, right. Is it like we gotta get this thing to pop? Because if not, like you feel me? I don't, is it you get what I'm trying? To I say? mean. I, I'm gonna just say I think you know OMG and never didn't pop like it never wasn't popping like we've been going viral Talk your shit, bro. you know Talk we, your shit. Look real, we go viral on Twitter Instagram all that like every other day like we really were a part of like something special in a lot of people's lives mm -hmm. and so I think that like they naturally associate us with that. So when we were like, oh, we finna drop Lover, but we back together. Like, everybody's like, oh, we welcome this. We want to know what this, code, bro. Nah, what this bro. gonna be. <laughs> and I mean, I think too, like, I don't think it's, I was finna say, I don't think it's pressure yeah, on, I was on popping it. Yeah, yeah, I don't no. think we, we put pressure on ourselves mm -hmm. about any of those type of things because I feel like we, we know that we have something special mm -hmm. together. Yeah. Like, we know if we get in the studio... It's gonna go. You yeah. Know, we get on that stage, it's gonna go crazy. Like, like it's just like, oh, it's given. It's not really like, oh, yeah. let's, let's make sure we like, go viral today. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's given definitely ordained. Like, definitely you could tell, like, this was meant I to be. Her. Like, how we even came together. I mean, it's just real. Like, you could tell, like, God was in the midst for us to even make it how we did without even an album. Like, yeah. to do as many tours we did, as many shows, and have the fan base we have. Like, it was just definitely off our music, of course, like you said, the team, and definitely our personalities and us just being like in connection with our fans on social media and us just being daring like to be ourselves with the color hair with the outfits with you know our stage names and all those type of things so what's the hardest part bro y'all y'all give me a bunch of positive what, the hardest kumbaya, part about like, it. I mean that's hard. good though we I, need need each other. Um, I think I ain't gonna lie I think the toughest part like coming coming back together I think that like it, it's it's like any business. Like everybody got different ideas. I don't think mm. it's tough, but I think it's like everybody has to voice how they feel, and we really have to come to a middle ground. And we've kind of always done well with coming to a middle ground mm -hmm. between the three of us. Um, I don't. I can't honestly even remember an argument that we've had where like somebody's like, "Oh, I want to do this, but I want to do that." That like I don't think that we have those things. But I feel like. You know, it's just when you're dealing with two other people, period, no matter if it's me with them two or me with us two or Bree with us two, like you just have different opinions. And mm -hmm. I think like with anything, it's just about working out, you know, those, those little opinions. Like maybe maybe I feel like that's not what we should do. And this is why, you know what I'm saying? And maybe hearing my perspective on that might change how you feel. You know mm. what I'm saying? Or it might, hearing your perspective on something I feel might change how I feel about it. Like, oh, okay, well, maybe that's why we shouldn't do it. I get what you're saying. Like, we grew up together. So it's like, we know how each other are and mm. we know what one is going to go for and the other two is not and vice versa. So it's like, 
I don't know. I, w- I would say just the opinion. I don't know We're if real I could opinionated do a group women. with yeah, guys that I grew up with. Like I seen this mm. clip, this viral clip. <laughs> and, um, and he was like, "Yo, like he love his day ones, mm. but he like I basically like he love his day twos better though." Mm. I think mm. I just I saw that but, video too. Because like basically He's like, like day, day twos. twos was the ones that he chose to be friends mm-hmm. with. Yeah, like your day ones, like you was in an environment like you kind of was trapped. Like you right. say. I wasn't dealt the fair hand, right? Yeah. And like yeah. days, those was the ones I was in the projects with, right? Like we grew up, and like I was forced to be around them. But my day twos are the guys that when I was grown, I was in mm-hmm. college, I chose mm-hmm. to be friends with them. The ones right. that mm-hmm. I meet now, I choose to be friends with. So it's like these, I really love you. The day ones, it's like, I don't I got, got a choice, be. right? Yeah. No, you know what? I don't know if I could. I saw that video too. And you know how I feel? I'm really grateful that my day ones. Like, I fuck with my day ones. Yeah. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, because I, I like my day twos, but not like my day ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I don't really call them like, well, I don't really call any of my day Yeah. Ones. But <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to call somebody, it's going to be my day ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think it's just different strokes for different folks. Nah, facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Definitely. that's facts. Because, like, my day ones probably, they, they probably look at me on camera, think I'm rich and shit. I'm Hell struggling yeah. <laughs> with the crib with the family. They're like, they damn, Jay Chains. Like, they say no, he piped up. A, like, I got the same number. I'm still. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, your situation. I know your situation. Yeah, my situation is different. different. Yeah. My day was probably like, damn, Jay, what yeah, they looking at you crazy. <laughs> they said, hold up. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm still trying to make it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, you know, but you know what, too. though? It's like, I don't know. I just feel like when you go through life and now we like 27, 28. So like, Y'all like 27, 28. Yeah, we 27, 28. Y'all like 20, 27, 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay, so how old are you? Okay, right, I'm, I'm saying I'm not 27. I'm 32. No, oh, oh yeah. I, no, forgot, but, I forgot. I forgot. I, forgot. I, I mean, I'm you know, forgetting you like in your 30s. Are you yeah, you are in your thirties. No. You should about to say I'll, I'll be forgetting your old nigga. I, no, I was going. No, <laughs> I was going to say I thought you was twenty seven. Yeah, probably twenty five. I mean, but you know, like <laughs> we, oh, I, I just like we grown women, you know, and we've been through enough life to realize that you got to keep the people who really know you close. Because mm. like mm-hmm. I've had friends, you know, what I'm saying who I might have met when I was like twelve or thirteen, and like bitches really stabbed me in the back. So mm. it's like D. I know if nothing else, I could call these two. My sister, other girls, you know what I'm saying, who I've known all my life. And I know no matter how long it's been, if we haven't talked, we have talked, they're going to hold me down. They're going to have my back. And I think that's why it's important to always like have your day ones. Because your day ones really know who you are internally at your core. Without all the glitz, the glamour, they know who you are as a person. You know what I'm saying? Your day two. Oh, they, you know, they know the healed <laughs> version of you. No, for real, Jay Hill. I'm about to say, don't let me. You, you seen that, that, that Joyner Lucas you, video? They know you healed. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, I ain't see that during the Lucas video. What you said? Because they also be a, they be expecting shit. They think because they think they what happened is they, they think friends. they know you. Your day ones be they think they know. Don't let me get into it. Don't no, no, let me get into it. We come from different backgrounds. Y'all was gonna say Jay Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see you your day ones do it. Like they think. They, but they, I'm not gonna talk shit about Baltimore. No. I'm, we love Baltimore. Uh-huh. I love but, Baltimore. But, but mm-hmm. we know that in but Baltimore. But I know how Baltimore. I was going to say it's a different culture. I'm about to leave, bro. Don't it's feel a different culture. Delete this. <laughs> it's a different it's me culture. Here again. Delete this. And I'm like, Jay, um, you remember when I was like. Uh, He's going to be like, uh, right. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. can you uh, edit that out? I hate her, bro. Like, yo, nah, nah, nah. We, we had know, a good seriously. time, bro. We did, we did. Yeah. <laughs> nah, so what I was going to say is, like, yo, sometimes it, they, what happened is, people, it's, it's hard. For people to know you for who you are now. Yeah, like, people think they, they know you because they met you 25 years for ago. Sure. That ain't me. No. Sure. Nigga, I grew. Yeah. I'm yeah. not the same person. So, what happened is, somebody, people, sometimes people try to hold you to the person yeah. that they met you at. Yeah. And, like, for even sure. in relationships and friendships, it's like, nah, you gotta come correct. Cause that ain't, right. I'm not the same Jay that I was 10 years ago. I but grew. But you know what? A real day one, mm-hmm. they ain't gonna care what you got, what you don't got, none of that. Like, I love you as a person. Mm. I love you who, I loved you for who you were then, mm-hmm. and I love you for who you are now. That's a real And friend. that's how that my day, thank you, here we go. Yeah. And that's how yeah. my day ones Bitch. are. These my, <laughs> these my day ones right here. Like, <laughs> no, no, no problem. Like, I really feel, I really <laughs> believe that. I feel like, you know, and especially to we women, we young black women. Like right now, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of young black women in competition. We, you know, men outnumber us like 
10 to 1. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we in Thank competition you. about men, about opportunities, about just certain stuff like that. And I think as, as women, it's important that we have a community of other women who we trust and we now, love and we could confide in no matter what. And I was going to say, I was going to get... Talk about that with y'all. Isn't it dope that, bro, stop fanning yourself? Yeah, you wait, making Jay look bad. Right, man. Jay don't got no air. Jay don't got no air. Bro, stop fanning yourself. Jay don't got no air. That's crazy. I'm trying not to fan myself. Why? I was at it because she didn't. I don't want you looking crazy. Not checking. Bro, y'all keep fanning y'all. No, that's my first time. I'm not going to do it. Y'all put that out. No air can be out. Put that out. Put that out. Put that out. Put that out. Yo, I was going to talk about it. It is hot. It's hot. It is hot. Look, mm, we need a we need yeah, a, a, a fan or something. Yeah, do we look hot? Yeah, do, right, we, look, do we look sweaty? Y'all look. Nah, y'all don't look I sweaty. Y'all look good. I was going. You don't. First look, of all, if you brought me a before thing. before we get into y'all looking good, I, I forgot I cut some shit out for you too. What? Oh, I cut some stuff out for you. Okay, period. What? That's not nice. her daddy. No, 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 no. She got. She girl, gave me all that. No, she gave me all that. That was good. I cut her boyfriend out. Oh, oh yeah, of yeah. I appreciate she told you that. To cut him out. I appreciate y'all still together. Because I like y'all still together. I, you know, he said, can yes. I put this? Can I add that? <laughs> right. Can I come back? <laughs> you know, right. we, can I we, we are, we are. Oh shit. Um, okay. What will we'll, you know? Even at the time, we were just like exclusively dating. That's what I call it. Okay. Um. You Yo, know, stop fanning really yourself, bro. <laughs> I'm tired. That's crazy. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Now I'm really hot. She stop fanning like, yourself. You gotta that no, but, but you know, but like we're 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 doing our thing. You know, that's I can't. That's need my a Bro, stop you know your, He be watching. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he be watching. Nah. He okay. do be watching. She's scared of her boyfriend. I'm what? not scared of him. Uh -huh. I mean, that's he fine. He ain't nothing to be scared of. Okay. Scared. Exactly. <laughs> you can't talk about nobody. I'm not scared of nobody. Oh. Listen, but you need to be. No. Oh. <laughs> no cap. Oh. Ooh. No. Wait yeah. a minute, yeah. y'all. I just calm down. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. I had to say that. Y'all, it's crazy. All right. Um. <laughs> but it is hot. It's hot as hell. Yeah, hot. I'm scared I to take smile. my shot. <laughs> Let smile. me get some more too, y'all. Y'all got me. Nah, go ahead, man. Yeah, I need a king for me. Yo, so okay, we. Y'all got me talking. Because <laughs> at first, not first. At first, y'all was giving me like radio, like. We had a, no, we were giving you real. You know, I don't want that boy. We, we, we giving you real. We are like perfect. <laughs> like, like, okay. Seriously, we're that, like hella positive when yeah. we're together. Like and we I'm love each that. other. Mm -hmm. Oh no my god! Smoke. Yeah, why you want? You're like, so mad. We love that's each other. Right? Say. Like it's a lot of girl groups though, and that's why I'm saying that yeah. I always say we blessed to be here because there's mm -hmm. so many girl groups. Like even now that you think about, and they just did so much cool stuff, and everybody like, wouldn't it be cool if they could? sit down for an interview and talk to each other mm -hmm. or put out another song or do another tour. It's like, we, we blessed that we was able to go through this whole industry the way it is, the way people try to pitch you against each other, all that. And especially like as women, like mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about executives and women, but they really pit us against each other. We blessed to be here. We still friends. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We still could come back together, drop a song, do a tour. Talking to your mic too. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Come because on, Kyle. Still, you, you know, gotta tell her that. We still, I know, he, he, he feel like really, it's, he really feels like you. I should know that. But, um, you know, it's like, but we blessed to be here. No, nah, you're and a guest today. He like, should, he should, no, he should know that yeah, shit. He should tell you. Well, you know, but we, 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 we just, we what, have a unique what? dynamic. Yo, we I have a different say, dynamic. Go ahead, go even ahead. With, you, it's you this I'm going to say, right. Yeah. But I want to say, even when we weren't like a group, we were at each other's shows. We were together like almost mm -hmm. every day, like hanging out still, like as if we were still in a group or like mm -hmm. the group didn't stop us from hanging out with each other. So this is like. But don't yeah, that feel good? Weird. Even like back when y'all was saying like, yo, it wasn't no beef or nothing like that. Even if it was none of our business. But isn't that great? No. No, no cap. So I'll cut it out though. No, no, no. He's trying to get him out. I'm the one that I will cut it out. Because <laughs> they ain't going to know. Cut it but out. The one, it's marketing. <laughs> like they're going to be intrigued as hell. You ain't going to get it. <laughs> but anyway. But, yeah. Anyway. But isn't like, that, this that's what dope about. as grown-ups yeah. though, yeah. right? Yeah. It's dope to be like, yo, all right, not right now. Right? Yeah. But we could come back on our own terms. Like, I feel like that's fire. Like, it's mm -hmm. friendships. It's cool to, like, even with my day ones or twos, it's cool to, like, have a disagreement. Yeah. Or even mm -hmm. if it's not a disagreement, we could be like, yo, let's take a break right now mm -hmm. and come back and, 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 and have this conversation later. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like with a group. Like, all right, maybe we should try our individual thing. Mm -hmm. And we always have an opportunity to come back later. I feel like that's. I feel like people need to see that yeah. because it's always attached to some some BS. But yeah, you know what sure. though, we had such a different life experience together. It was a point in time where the only friends we really had that we talked to on a daily it was each other. Mm. So it's like hard with with that. You know, we 
our friendship, I think it supersedes everything. We went through hard times together, good times together. We didn't got money together. And I always mm-hmm. said, even from the beginning, like, me and these girls, we really broke bread together. So I just always am open to doing anything business related. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the two of them. And these are my friends. Like, mm-hmm. I, I feel like the opportunity presented itself. We felt ready. You know what I'm saying? To come back and put a record out and do this again, you know, together. And I think that that's like... It's a lot of girl groups who can't do that. Like mm-hmm. they don't like each other. Like we mm. we we lucky that we like each other. We Facts. still friends. We still have love for each other. Mm-hmm. A lot of these girls done did so much stuff together, and they can't even sit in a room together. It's like oh, I don't fuck with her. You know what I mean? Like we don't have that dynamic. We really mm-hmm. friends, you know. <laughs> and I think people kind of were always wondering, like, why did y'all break up? Why did it not? You know, it's like. We wanted to do different things, but we friends though. You know mm, what I'm that's saying? Hard. Like, that's and that's what y'all gonna know off rip. Like, we not know. You know, right now everybody's in like a social media age. We take everything to social media. That that ain't never been how we are. Yo, never. no cap. I'm a little lit now, but and, and it's hot. But no, no cap, no cap, for real. It's so refreshing to hear y'all say this. Like, and like sometimes I feel like I'm at a disadvantage because like I'm not really with the gossipy, messy type shit, even though like that's how media thrive today. Just being Mm -hmm. honest, right? Mm -hmm. Right. But outside of the work, it's refreshing to hear you say like, bro, we good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) We was always good. Like it's because like we don't have that a lot. And a lot of times we see the opposite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 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 dope to see. And I feel like people need to see that. Young girls, young women need to see that. They're like, yo, like, nah, this wasn't no that corny shit you see. Yeah. Right. We built different. Yeah. No matter what where you come from. Yeah. From the projects or from Beverly right. Hills. Like mm-hmm. I like for me, it's dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just oh, yeah. like, like yeah, I know. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I can be a little soft. No, 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 no. That's fire, but bro. We need to see that. Though. This is our that's first true. podcast that we've done, mm-hmm. like, as a group. Like, yep. we ain't been mm. to no what other, like, good. podcast, anything right. like that. Like, I mean, so right, solo, obviously. Well, but just together, us three as a group, I just feel like, you know, we felt comfortable to come here and really, like, talk to you. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And really, sure. you know, yeah. like, let you know, like, no, I appreciate y'all. what's up? You know what I'm saying? I really... I really fuck with y'all. No cap. Like, oh, yeah. No, yeah. we know that. I was like, this is the first time nah, we Listen, I'm talking about yeah. my dad. Like, yeah. You know? Like, Yo, that we, was... We friends. Like. Nah, facts. <laughs> I told Zanique to come out here and start a podcast with y'all three, and I was going to shoot it, but she bullshitting. Okay, oh. for one, why you're trying to make it seem like that, like you said, oh, start a podcast with the OMG girls. No, you never said that. Oh. You said you and all your friends. <laughs> oh, Bro, I said you and Beja oh. and fucking Ray Janae. I thought that was okay. just... Okay, I, but now but you're I'm trying to like sell it to them like, oh, I told the OMG girls to start your own podcast. I did. That is how you sold it. Yeah, it could be OMG. Said. Okay, but like... <laughs> <We> <laughs> <saw> <laughs> I said that and you said I'm, I'm with it. Okay, but you didn't say OMG. Like, don't tell OMG. Like, I'm you on your ass OMG right now. You cap. I'm not cap. You said me and my friends, which I like, think you know... you may be a little gotta, cap, Jay, Yeah, though. thank you, bitch. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's because you I know friends. my friend. No, I bro, know ask Kyron. I seen it too, She said... Kyron. Like, I'm not lying. She said, yeah, I'm going to get them to... I didn't say OMG. I said you and my friends. What I say, Kyrie? He get him on mic. Get him. I didn't say OMG podcast. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say Brie because I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know. It was them. Okay. So it don't even sound like it included us, Jay. Right. It was you. Yeah. In yeah. Was your name. You name. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't okay. know about Brie. Cool. I, I didn't okay. know. I didn't okay. do my research, yeah. right? I mean, you did. That's you did. It didn't happen. I mean, like this. This is an easier. Thing to get together because yeah. we're always together, you know. And, it's a vibe, though. and we like to talk, especially me. They just love to talk. <laughs> um, nah, this is a vibe. Don't do her like, like that, bro. No, she no, 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 no. She said she just like I'm, I'm Kyra, the most talkative. Talk? <laughs> no, Kyra? literally, like when we used to do interviews, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like I probably talked. I ain't, gonna, I ain't even gonna do that talk. because she was chatty patty. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I don't have. And that's when when you was like, what's she the was difficult? chatty patty. No. <laughs> Let me just say, when you was like, hold up, chatty patty is really crazy, but. When you was like, oh, what's the difficult part of being a group? I was going to say, I feel like it's for me, for sure, it's easier because like it's three of us. Mm-hmm. I don't have to do much. I can come in here like, oh, it's an interview. And I can sit right here and be mute. And <laughs> if they well, answer the questions, know. it's yeah, it's <laughs> or, or the group. You, you know that? what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's much easier for yeah. me. Like, Facts. I, yeah. Yo, did, yeah, let me ask y'all this. <laughs> okay. Give okay. me something. Uh-oh. We're gonna we're gonna clip this out. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Give me some. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, do that. Right. Right. Oh, right. Let's get this, bro. Come on, man. Okay. 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 They don't well, have to know. Ask. On the clips, they don't have to know. Let me put some. All right. I'm gonna let her take it. I'm gonna take my time with okay. this. Yeah, take your time. Take my time. 
You got some? Ain't no telling what yeah. you know. It ain't about to be nothing crazy. Sorry, okay, mom, let me start. It ain't nothing crazy. My dukes in the I promise it ain't nothing crazy. What's your, what's your mama name? Miss Joanne. Miss oh, Joanne. Miss Joanne. Hi, Miss Joanne. Yes, nice to meet you. Hi, Miss Joanne. Joanne. Nice Joanne. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We talked about her in our interview. Let me, yeah, okay. we did. Okay. 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 Yo, so let me ask y'all this. Thank you. Hey, it's nothing we crazy. About my mama too, when y'all when, when, when we did, we blocked it we out did. though. No, you didn't. <laughs> he ain't block it out, Mr. So I ain't block it out? He ain't block it out. I blocked it out on game. My mama game. was looking crazy on the internet. No oh, shit. Girl. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. Thank but you. she said something. Right. Oh. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Oh, hold on, Kyra. Oh, yeah, we worked on that. We, yeah, we, did. we did it personally. Oh. And oh, I gave you, yeah, nah, 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 Half trick, half like I got you. Wow! It was. I gave you his. I said talk and whatever you, you want. You did. You did. But let me tell you. I don't want now to say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Okay. It might be good for content. Go ahead. Say no. It. Put me on blast. No. Yeah. Put right, me. Right. Put me on blast. So basically, so basically, Jay was like, you know, I want to know. I'm interested. Like how he did us a minute uh -huh. ago. I'm interested. I really want to know. I'll block this out. You know. You feel uh -huh. what I'm saying? So I'm just talking because like I fuck with Jay. Like I'm like. I'm Mind you, that's our first time talking. Whatever. Yeah, cool, I know, cool, cool, but cool. I fuck with him. Because Kyron in the building. <laughs> Kyron was really your yeah. star. Your star in the whole building. I'm not okay. shit. I fuck, I fuck with my brother Kyron. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah. right. Jay we, from we Baltimore, he kind of got a cool vibe. Shit, you, I fuck with it. You know right. what I'm mean? saying? Okay. And he got me trusting him. Oh. Liquor. He like, shit, I... Right, he's getting hard to heart. Jay said, yeah. shit, yeah. I was going to say, it's yeah. going to be the yeah, liquor. Loosen and he said, he, said, yep. Yep. he said, I'm interested. You know, off the camera, I, I really want to know. You feel what I'm saying? That's what tricked me. I thought he really was interested. And he was like, I'm going to block this out. He was interested. He yeah. was. Yes. And it's then awesome. I was just talking. I was just talking. And then, like, he was like, okay, like, let's bleep this, but let's keep this. Let's bleep this, let's keep this. And it was like a negotiation. So, so it was like half trick, half negotiation. That like, wasn't a but trick. You, know you, you could have took out whatever you wanted. But you know what, though? I ain't going to nah. lie. That was Kyrie, what I said. I said whatever she wants, let me know. That was one of my favorite interviews from her. Mm -hmm. I, I really do believe that. I feel like that was one of my favorite interviews because... Zanika is a person who was very, um, and I think just based off of like how she grew up to just, mm. you know, always having to be in the spotlight, I think it's hard for her to open up to people and especially just the world. So I felt like that was kind of her in rare form. And I know mm. that you might not have liked it, the attention that came from it, but I feel like, you know, to me, she's always just been, and I've been her best friend all my life. I don't know no mm -hmm. life without knowing her, Same. but oh, that's you know, fire. I, that's hard. That's she's a like a, that's hard. You know, she's like a mysterious person. Even mm. to me, I could count on one hand how many times I've seen her like be emotional and you know, stuff like that. So I feel like just, the world, me, anybody who knows her, being able to like see her kind of open up like that, I do think it was special. Well, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna keep it 100, <laughs> and I probably special. shouldn't do this. I think it was special. The guests probably hate it, but it was top two. It probably Jess, then you, no cap. Okay. I can't, I can't make, like, Hello. I'm not even lying. Hello. Okay. Uh, Hello. So, like, I, I appreciate, nice. like, you even, like, just being, being vulnerable because mm -hmm. that was, like, people needed to hear that. You have a, a safe space feel, you know. Oh, uh, thank you. I appreciate. it. I work hard to try yeah. to have a safe. Hey. I really. It feels good though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it feels. It feels. It feels real. I hey, feel Jay, like Bree should have came hey, up Jay, by herself. Going. Yeah, we can still do that. That's all I got. Is <laughs> I mean, keep it going. You see, right. keep going. You see That's all you got right? to do. This right. Right. Keep, keep going. Keep pushing right. 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 forward. I hate this girl. Yeah. Yo. So no, no, no. For I appreciate y'all, man. Like, how? What's <laughs> Yo, Kyrie, where we at, bro? Ooh. Hey, oh, man. Oh, we good, man. Yo, not nah, for real, but how, how, how are y'all though? Like outside of like, how how y'all feeling, man? Um, good. I'm 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 optimistic and I'm very excited That's about this space that we in. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, we got a lot to show the world. I think it mm -hmm. was a lot that you know, it's a lot that we accomplished and we still got more to accomplish. And mm -hmm. um. I'm just blessed to be here with these two lovely ladies. They're so talented, so beautiful and amazing. That I started was, my journey. Yes, you know, I started my journey with them. Yeah. That so, was the uh, special. The uh, 
the NBA slash NFL speech. You know how they be mm-hmm. like, yeah, I'm just blessed to be here. Shout but out to my so team. Much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's true. I was going to say, say optimistic too and all yeah. those words that she said. Yeah. So let me, let me ask y'all this then. Uh-oh. Right? Not, no, saying, oh. no messy. <laughs> right, no, so I, do, I, do, I, do, I do have something messy. I do have something messy. I do have something messy. But we on serious time right now. All right. Okay. Y'all are in a great position, right? Like, I think you said it. Y'all don't really have pressure. Like, y'all don't care. If, even if y'all do, y'all don't care about the pressure that y'all have, may have, may not have, yeah. about dropping the hit or whatever. Y'all really having fun. Y'all doing what y'all want. Yeah. Where does, like, because sometimes some people would say the great moments or the great music come from having that chip on your shoulder, mm-hmm. right? How do you differentiate the two? How do you get gr- great music? Without having like a chip on your shoulder or feeling like you gotta prove something to the world, because usually that's when you create the best things. Um, we create. I'm Max Bree because you yeah, talk like, all interview. <laughs> no, she was about to say right. Don't do her like that. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good. You just said right. You just said. She said. Okay, you know what? Because she made the lead. I ain't gonna say nothing. We were going no. Don't do it. See, that's what she gonna do. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. We need her to talk. You did it right, and we was gonna piggyback off of it. So that's what. No, no piggyback. You cut it off. You lead it. You lead it. Okay. Well, I will lead it. Um, okay but no um when it comes to us creatively or like just how we be in the studio it'd be very like real like Mm. and even those vibes in itself I feel like through music what you relate to the most are the records that come from a real situation Mm -hmm. or real things so like us collectively and then with some great writers also shout out to Libby like us growing up with Libby and stuff like that and able to express ourselves in ways and like how to write with the pen and stuff like there we would know that we would hear stuff and play it back and be like, oh, wow, this is a hit. Or like, mm. see how it made us feel in the studio and how like we would feel when we perform on stage or like how the fans would feel about it or our supporters and everybody. We would be like, oh, this one is it. Like, it would just come off the vibes, like totally, like it would be us expressing ourselves. But like she was saying, like, it's true that we all are individually creatives. And then when we come together, it's just like a combustion because of how we came together. I know you say it's like, sounds so- No, nah, it's like, fine. We the culture. Stuff, but the, yeah, we the culture, period. Like you can't bring up love teen black <laughs> girlhood, teen black boyhood without bringing up OMG, Not Mom's behavior, Jacob Lattimore, shout out to him, yes. Yonah Shy, Diggy Simmons. It's mm-hmm. a lot of us who y'all was a came part up with that. Betty. But yeah, but we we are a part yep. of a time, and you can't mm-hmm. bring up certain things without bringing us up. At the OMG. end of the day, all of the when we first dyed our hair. All them colors, like you know, they call us ghetto, ratchet, all this stuff. You get on Instagram, guess what you see? A bunch of colored hair, long hair, 30 inch weeds. We had 30 inch weeds at 16, 17 years old. Mm-hmm. I like this, baby. I like, like this. Mm-hmm. No, I like but we, this. But we have to no, talk but that's, about but it because I feel like, you know, our contribution to black girlhood and black womanhood, it gets downplayed a lot because people be like, oh, y'all didn't have no number one single. Y'all didn't have no album. And those things are true. We didn't. But at the end of the day, it's like, what we did for the culture, it, it just, it can't be taken away. We not saying nice we right. invented color hair. We not saying we was the first black girls to wear color hair. Let me but write. we popularized it. Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Because you look like a hater right now. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I ain't like that. I ain't no, like no, that. No, no, no. I ain't talking to somebody back there. I don't I'm just saying because you just did me I'm dirty. I'm just saying because I know you about to come with some shit. No, like, I was about to be on <laughs> y'all's side, bro. Oh, he did this. Bro, oh, he did that. I'm oh, on y'all's oh, side. Damn. What I he will say. He got in here. No, no, no cap. I'm, so I'm going to be on y'all's side. Nah, okay, I'm with you. Okay. When it comes to culture and cultivating things, number one don't mean shit. Let me tell you why. So, for example, like me, like I, like I, I don't even talk like this often, but I'm just relating mm-hmm. to you because mm-hmm. it's y'all interview. You try to pop your shit like baby. right? Yeah, that was <laughs> a little bit. Your shit, a little bit. A little bit. Nah, time. this ain't my interview. It's y'all interview. But like, so <laughs> I come from Baltimore, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. But I know for a fact, my I, I have a fingerprint on podcasting, especially in my community, right? Sure, in okay. the DMV. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't need a number one podcast to know that. Yeah. Come on now. Right. Okay. Like so. Hello? Like and and I say let's say for example, let's paint it. Like let's talk about stars. Like. Joe Button, right? If you look at Joe Button and you look at um, Joe Rogan or even like, let's say, black academics, right? Mm-hmm. Academics has academics, Adam 22. They both have more subscribers than Joe Button. Yeah. But everybody know in a black community, Joe Button yeah. put a stamp on this. He really. Yeah. So sometimes, right, in this industry, sometimes you might not seem like the biggest. You might got to go through more lawsuits like you might got to go through more dirt mm-hmm. for other people to shine more 
Exactly. So just because you didn't have a number one don't mean that don't take away from who you are. Absolutely. Because you had to go like think about it. Artists back in the day, they they wasn't making nearly not even half as what artists are making now. Right. right. But they had to come first. Mm -hmm. They they set the tone for the yeah. artists to come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just because you don't have a, a number one don't mean anything. I'm so I'm on your side. I'm yeah, like yeah, yeah. for I, but when you said it, it made me think like, nah, because you that. you're yeah. a cultivator. Yeah. Like yeah. that don't mean nothing. Yeah. Like, Culture we, is everything. I remember. I was watching uh, the verses and it was like the dream is Sean Gary and I remember just watching it and they both was like playing <laughs> songs was whatever <laughs> but I remember the dream said something very important like he he said something about culture he was like what I did for the culture like niggas can't do that you know and I think it's just that was very telling you know what I mean to me it struck a chord with me because I'm like we I feel Seven. we the culture you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. I, oh, I feel like you know we the people who set certain trends, we set certain tones. And I think that, you know, like when you do something innovative, you might not always get the credit. Um, mm -hmm. You might not always get like the recognition or the glory, whatever people look for. But I think when we did what we did, it wasn't to get any recognition or glory. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of like, you know, we felt this is something that we wanted to do. And in the process of that, we liberated other black young girls to Thanks. do what they want to do with their hair <laughs> mm -hmm. and with their clothes. Yeah, and now shit. we live in a world <laughs> where at this point, black women could do whatever they want to do with their hair, their clothes, their makeup, their mm -hmm. nails, and nobody could say nothing. We was a part of pushing that forward. You know, it was like, I'm not saying we were the only ones, but it was mm -hmm. doors that were open for us and we opened doors mm. for other, you know, young black women as well. So we, Perfect I think foot. we kind of, yeah, I think we look at it like that. And young white girls too, because no, I'm not yeah, gonna lie, we used to have young white girls in the crowd Suspended. as well with they little everything. pieces in their hair and everything mm -hmm. else. So I think that we had a, um, a universal effect, but you know, black American culture just has such a hold on just the world, period. Mm. Not even America, mm -hmm. but just anywhere you go, like people are emulating black culture and you know stuff like that so we had a big part in that i feel mm -hmm. yo i have so much respect for you ladies thank like you. Oh, thank you like when i like the love is so real thank you oh, like, i know we love you too. except yeah. for because yeah. she said i don't like that oh. except for her not except for her no, no. you gotta it. okay. but nah not for I know Jay me. I, nah i got he love you big time <clears throat> right. i got that so much get... love for y'all for real like it's it's, it's, yeah. it's crazy and to see y'all and back continue to go to go right yeah. like with y'all success keep the fight forward like i know how hard it is right yeah. even mm -hmm. if the people don't have to know <clears throat> it's just it's, it's dope and it's inspirational and yeah. i um man, i wish y'all the best for real thank oh, you oh thank you appreciate that yeah. and wish you the same right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Same. I was Continue gonna say, to keep doing yeah. your thing. Yeah. Thank you for creating this platform, yeah. you know, allowing us to come and like speak. You know what I mean? It's yeah. important and nah, making a safe sure. space for people. Mm -hmm. to Did express we have themselves. any missed opportunities? Um, mm. Oh, no, he no, but make sure you know, I don't know Lover where Boy. I need to look, but mm -hmm. make sure y'all stream Lover Boy on all streaming platforms right now. That's our right new now. single, and right stay now. tuned. We have new music on the way yes. and shows and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. you know, we working. Nah, yeah. Of course, of yes. course, we working. Yo, this is good. Like. These girls are like, like, like really like fam. Like I know it's crazy because you know media people do that all the time, but I'm, I mean it. Like I hit Zanik, yo, can you see if, yeah, yeah, I got you, for real. Like I can't make this up. Mm -hmm. So like these girls are like, I hit them, yo, how y'all doing? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you thought I was lying. With checking up on. Oh, yeah. you do, you do yeah, check you up. He you do told check me out. when I met Jay, he said, I'm going to be checking nice. in. It's a real relationship. We cool. Like, okay. We friends. And he do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nah, he nah. So, work. um, yo, Bree. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you. Beja. Yes. Zanique. Mm -hmm. Collectively. OMG. OMG. Yes. Period. Okay. So much love. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know if y'all, like, y'all probably don't need to. Maybe y'all want to, like. Follow. All oh that yeah. Shit. Well, we're okay. gonna tell your viewers to follow us on our Instagram at OMG Girls with a Z. Our Twitter is at the Real OMG Girls. Our Facebook is also OMG Girls. Mm -hmm. And like we said, stream our song on all platforms, which yes. is OMG Girls. Yeah. And just stay tuned because we got a lot of stuff coming. Yes. Fire. Lover boy out now. Yes. Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. It's a wrap. We out.